Hey, Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. As you may know, Holothon is back. It's NECA and Target's, I guess now, annual release uh, celebration, whatever you want to call it, of new figures. Uh, very Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle centric, but there are other things on the way as well. And the first, well, this, I don't even think this is from the first drop. I just happened to find it in store and was very excited because, if you recognize it, this is uh, Triceraton Zog from the original Mirage Comics run of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And uh, it is from the Return to New York storyline. Uh, where the turtles finally, uh, after a much longer time than you've seen in the movies or uh, perhaps the animated series, return to the sewers of New York, where they discover a Triceraton who has been left behind after the huge conflict that they had with the Utrams and the Triceratons. Uh, so this lone Triceraton has been living in the sewers uh, for, for a very long time, because the turtles are gone for a while. Uh, I've got this beautiful black and white art. Uh, this is actually my favorite collection of the original Mirage comics. Uh, and I, I just uh, adore these comics. These mean as much to me as G.I. Joe and Uncanny X-Men. Uh, these, these are and always will be my Ninja Turtle stories. Uh, and unfortunately, Zog meets a, a very sad end, but is an awesome character that I, I just have always wanted this. As a matter of fact, when I had the Playmates Triceraton when I was a kid, uh, I altered it to look more like Zog. I, I had actually had several Triceratons, and I made them all look a little bit different. Uh, anyway, I didn't... I, I say this a lot. I didn't want to collect this line, but I have no choice because I love these Mirage... Uh, characters so so much and i can't wait for him to do new turtles uh so here we have zog as you can see he zog is a big big boy in a big big box uh this box is 10 inches high almost eight inches wide probably eight inches wide at the back because you can see it's got kind of a hexagonal shape going on here uh you've got the credits for everybody involved with the creation of the toy and the packaging Got some beautiful art on the side. This is the seventh figure in this series. And then on the back, you've got some great product shots, uh, just sort of showing the, the figure in action uh, to be continued. Uh, we know we've got a Casey Jones uh, foot soldier. These will be getting reviewed on Wednesday. And then I believe that's uh, a Rokusaki shredder over there on the side, I think. So anyway, more art there. Let's open this guy up and check him out. Uh, <laughs> I was very excited to find this in store. The first Holothon stuff I saw, because the end caps are located in very different areas depending on what target you go to. Oh man, look at this backdrop, holy cow. Uh, depending on what target you go to, the Holothon end caps well, there may not even be an end cap. It may just be jammed in with the rest of the NECA stuff. That's beautiful. I love this. Um, just great background art. Looks like it's straight out of the Mirage comics. Uh, it may be an end cap. It may be in the baby section. It may be near the toy section. Uh, and like I said, it may just be jammed in with all the NECA stuff. You really get to wander around Target. And the first time I found any Holothon stuff, they had that Shredder uh, Clone 2 pack and Man Ray. Man Ray looks absolutely incredible, but I never read the Mighty Mutanimals uh, comics from Archie. And as much as I like that figure, I you got to make choices, people. You have to make choices on these things. All right, let's see here. I do not have my nippers with me because I used them for something else and they're in the other room, so we're going to go old school scissor style. Mm, and that is not going to cut through that thing. Let's see what else we've got up here. I know I could just untwist it. No, I don't have any kind of wire cutters or anything. I just hate untwisting these things. It's so annoying. And then the way they've got it tucked up underneath, so you got to... Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay. Never mind. 
So we've got a tray of accessories we're gonna to set to the side for right now. We've got our massive Triceraton Pal, who I guess is gonna go thunking out of the tray after I cut through the little plastic deals, because this is a big, heavy figure, as it should be. This, is, I can already tell you, you know, quality-wise, we'll get to it, we'll get to the review, but just pure appearance-wise, this is the greatest Triceraton figure that has ever been made, period. Uh, because this is what Triceratons should look like, and that's not... That's not really a knock against the Playmates versions, because those were great figures, uh, no doubt. But they weren't big enough, they weren't thick enough. They were great for the Playmates toy line aesthetic, uh, but to really capture the look of a Triceraton, you, you gotta go big. And they, NECA has definitely done that. Oh my gosh, this knife. And finally, get these nice grenades, that nice variety of grenades out of here. What a chore it is to open a NECA figure. And I mean, that's, you know, it's a good thing and it's a bad thing. It's a good thing because it means everything is safe and secure. You don't have to worry about stuff rattling around or getting warped or what have you. Uh, but man, it sure is a process. Look at all the stuff this guy comes with. Uh, he retails for $49.99, which I understand is a pretty hefty price tag. But looking at everything here that was in uh, that package and the size of this figure, oh my gosh, all this. It's great. He's great. All right. Get all that off to the side. Obviously, we've got to get the tail on first. We have a hinge at the top, and it is indeed a bendy tail, but it's not just, let's, let's take a closer look at this thing. The sculpt and the paint on this bendy tail are just unprecedented. What a fantastic piece of toy sculpture this is to have captured that level of, I mean, this is, you know, essentially just rubbery material with a wire armature underneath, uh, so it will hold a pose. Just looks amazing. All right, let's get that plugged in. Maybe, um, this might require heating up. Sorry, Triceraton, this is perhaps a bit inappropriate. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to heat that up to get it in the uh, as, as well as it needs to go in there. So, you know what? Let's do that. All right, the usual 30 seconds of heat has been applied. Oh, man, it still kind of doesn't want to go in there. There we go. All right, and you can see the way that this has been sculpted uh, to with the tip just kind of up a little bit. Really fantastically done. All right, look at that, hinged. Oh my gosh, wow. You guys, check this out. Okay, so hinged jaw, which is kind of a must, but then inside that hinged jaw, the tongue is also connected to the hinge. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa. Okay. I was wrong. The tongue is plugged into the mouth on like a ball joint situation. Oh, that is crazy. That is ingenious toy engineering. Uh, the head is on a double barbell. So you've got a huge range of motion. And let's just take a look at the sculpt and the paint detail. Absolutely gorgeous. 
Uh, he's got his Triceraton tattoo. Articulation wise, you know, sort of the standard issue for modern articulation now. I am curious about how stiff this bicep swivel is going to be. Oh no, it's, look at that. That's great. Great. Feels really nice moving. Works really well. Uh, we've got the elbow joint. Oh, look at that. And we do have uh, the peg and hinge construction. So not only do you have the bicep swivel, but you do have a little bit of rotation at the top of the elbow as well. Uh, wrist joint, standard issue. And you can see his Triceraton uniform, and see this is where they're going to get me, is if they decide, because this is... Let's see. If they decide to release, which they probably will, just a regular Triceraton that is not Zog in the fully undamaged Triceraton uniform, I'm going to have to get that as well. Oh, this, this, I love big, giant, thick figures like the Hulk and the Thing and like this guy that just feels so substantial when you're moving them around. Look at that. Bicep swivel, no problem at all. I mean, obviously this guy's going to have big, thick pegs, but look at, okay, look at the tears in his uniform and the orange coming through and how nicely detailed that is. Uh, all of the black in the wrinkles and the folds and everything. Uh, he's got the Triceraton logo on his chest. He's got a ball jointed waist that is just absolutely wonderful. This is, this is going to be such an expressive figure to sit down and pose and mess around with. Uh, he's got his utility belt with all of the pouches, all that great detail going on there. Just look at the, the width or the depth of his torso, I guess. The width that way, the depth that way. Uh, and then he's got sort of your standard. Gosh, this is a beautiful figure. I can't, I'll be honest, I can't wait for them to do uh, the just regular Triceraton troops. I'm not, I'm not going to troop build them, that's for sure, but Man, I can't wait to get another one of these guys. Uh, knee joints, single jointed knee with the swivel at the top. All of these joints are moving so nicely. Uh, and also, I'd like to point out, I, I don't know how to capture the price. He is purple. Uh, I mean, his uniform is purple. It's looking to me like it's probably a little bluish in the video, but it is a beautiful purple that contrasts with this orange just wonderfully. This figure on your shelf... This is a centerpiece. This is a centerpiece figure that goes in the middle of the shelf that when people come over and look at your toy room, they're going to be like, whoa, what is that guy? Or, wow, that's the most incredible Triceraton ever made. I, I am blown away by this. And let me just tell you, and, and I've said it several times, that NECA is at the top of their game right now. This this is a phenomenal product. This is a must have. This is one of those items I would say that is even if you're not you know even if you're not necessarily familiar with the Mirage comics, this is such a remarkable toy that if you're just a toy collector that wants great action figures, you need this in your collection. Uh, man, all right, let's uh, let's check some dimensions. On this fella, I can't lay him down because of his tail. Uh, he is a little over eight inches tall. He is a little over six inches wide. Uh, and then from the tip of his tail to the front of his horn, we got about uh, a little over eight inches going that way. This is, this is a massive beast. And man, do I need some Ninja Turtles to go with him. NECA, come on. we got to get on some form of Mirage Ninja Turtles. Uh, I know they teased ones. I don't know specifically that they were based on the art of these covers, but that's what they looked like to me. Uh, I'll take them, but I do still want some original Mirage Turtles as well. Uh, I'll, although now that I'm thinking about it, you know what? They might have just been the Return to New York Turtle designs. Uh, where they were a little bit thicker. I think that's exactly what they were. They're just a little... They're thicker. They're more... I mean, they look more like the movie turtles, I would say. Oh, man. This is great. And we need Raphael with his, like, head 
headpiece and everything here. Oh, I love this. All right, we haven't even looked at the accessories yet. All right, so let's set Zog off to the side. And we have got a plethora of hands. You've got some closed fists for punching. Complete with all the sculpt and detail, obviously, of the uh, default hands. You've got some closed C-grips. Uh, not closed, but you know what I mean, like a tighter grip C-grips. And then you've got a trigger finger hand. And then a sort of a different C-grip hand, which is probably for these grenades, yeah. Uh, and the hands are all pretty flexible, so you're not going to struggle getting them to interact with the accessories. And we've got three different grenades. Well, two, two different grenade styles, three grenades. you got lemon grenades and then a canister grenade. And those, I wonder if they attach to the figure anywhere. Oh, look at this. Okay, so his... This piece, this belt piece here, is separate. Well, there's, it's really just right there. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know about how I feel about squeezing grenades in there. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. You might be able to fit them... It'd be nice if there were little slots on his belt. Okay. So, I think... I don't know if it's necessarily designed to be this way, but you can kind of slot these grenades in around his belt in a few places, probably. Maybe over here. You've just got to look for a place where there's enough width. So you you can store those on the figure. Again, I don't know if that's by design or just by lucky accident. Then you can stick one in the hand or find probably find another slot somewhere. Okay, so that's how those can interact. And as you can see, the sculpt, they actually do have black uh, paint to bring out all those details. And then you've got the Triceraton Blaster in the wonderful Mirage style, how all of the, everything is very angular and defined. Uh, the black painted lines make everything really stand out. I got some wear painted on there. And in the front, you've got the yellow. Beautiful piece. And that is going to interact with the trigger finger hand like so fits in there perfectly and then we've got the triceraton battle knife just a massive trench knife with the the knuckle spikes and again that painted wear nice sharp feeling blade the color looks great and that is going to work with Probably this hand, and you know, I said you're not going to have any trouble getting the hands to interact with the accessories, but this one may, well, I don't know, that may squeeze right in there. Look at that. Beautiful. Well done, NECA. Looks great. So there you go. That is Zog, the... Insane Renegade Triceraton, who was left behind in the sewers of New York, uh, who becomes uh, sort of an unintentional companion of the Ninja Turtles. This is an incredible figure. This, this is absolutely a figure of the year candidate. This is tremendous. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about Needless Things. Come back Wednesday for the review of the Shredder clones. And uh, each and every week, brand new toy reviews. Thanks for watching. 
Smash that like button if you like Needless Things.